Hello, it's Ben with the DIY Homefront, and I've got my mechanic shirt on, which means I'm doing lawnmower maintenance. So, let's get into it. Well, I've got some other videos where I'm going to trick out this lawnmower, and I'm putting new tires on the back of it, which means I've got two tires that I can do something with. And I'll use this one on my other mower. So we're going to go ahead and swap that tire out for the one on the lawnmower that's got dry rot. I made a video the other day showing where it was leaking air right out of the seam because it was dry rotted. It's easier to take the tire off when the tire is off the lawnmower, but I don't know if we're going to be that lucky to get it off. There's an e-clip that needs to come off and then there's a large washer that holds the dust cover in place. Well, I will get this jacked up and keep my fingers crossed that there's not rust fusing the rim to the axle. I use a penetrating oil called BP Rust Buster and I'll give it a few minutes to soak in and see if we can slide the rim off. About 15 minutes later, I've got my small sledgehammer out and I'm gonna tap on the back of the wheel and the front of the wheel and see if I can break it loose. I continue to hammer on the rim over the next few minutes and got it off. It's always easier to get the tire off the rim when the rim is sitting on the ground. You don't want to lose this guy. I believe they call this a key and it locks the rim onto the back axle so when the motor runs it spins the tires. Before I do anything else, I'm going to use some 220 grit sandpaper and I'm going to clean this axle shaft off. And when I'm done, I'll grease it up with some axle grease. Since the tire is trash, I'm going to use a box cutter and put a slit in it and that'll let all the air out. I'll use a hammer and a screwdriver to beat the tire off of the rim and that'll make it a lot easier for it to come off. Next step is to take some screwdrivers and pry the tire over the rim. And once I get one side done, I'll go back and pry the other side over the rim. I used a hammer and a screwdriver to knock the edge of the tire towards the center of the rim, just like I did on the first one. And then I tried really hard to take the screwdrivers and pry the tire up over the rim. But it would not budge, so I went to pan B and got a grinder. And I just want to say my way may not be the best or the safest way to do it. However, in the end, I did get the tire off the rim and I've still got all my fingers, so that is a win. After cleaning all the ground up rubber off the rim, I'm gonna take some 220 sandpaper and very lightly go around the edge of the rim. I just want to make sure that it's smooth and there's no metal burrs or anything grabbing the tire when I try to put the new one on the rim. I'm going to sprinkle a bunch of talcum powder around the edge of the tire and hopefully that'll allow it to slide over the rim when I'm trying to put it back on. Now comes a moment of truth. Can I get this rim back on the tire in a fairly easy fashion? I will let this play out in real time. So this is literally actually how long it took for me to get the tire on the rim. I went back and looked at the time on the video it took 55 seconds to get the first part of the tire onto the rim. And that's not too bad. As I am editing this, I cannot remember how long it took to put the second side on. But I guess we're gonna find out. I 
I didn't do nearly as well as getting the second side of the tire on the rim as I did the first side. It took 55 seconds to get the first side on the rim and it took me 2 minutes and 50 seconds to get the second side. That's still less than 4 minutes to get the new tire onto the rim. And that's probably a record for me. I can remember in the past where I have spent close to 30 minutes trying to get this done. I don't know if it's because I started using the talcum powder that makes it easier. Maybe sanding some of the burrs off of the metal rim. I'm not sure why it went so quick this time. And when you do it yourself, four minutes to get a lawnmower tire onto a rim is not too bad without any specialized tools. It's also a lot easier when you're replacing a tire as opposed to putting a tube inside of it. Because if you're putting a tube inside of the tire, you've really got to be careful where these screwdrivers are going. And it's really frustrating when you put a tube in a tire and you blow it up and find out you've poked a hole in it. And you've got to take the tire back off the rim and put another tube on. Talk about doing the same work twice. You'll be regretting that day. So I guess in reality, I've been really lucky twice on this project. Being able to get the tire and rim off the back of the lawnmower's axle is a feat in itself. I have seen videos where people take blow torches and everything else trying to loosen the rim up so they could get the rim off. So that only leaves one difficult task left, and that's getting this tire blown up with air. Because it can be extremely difficult to try to get those tires to seat onto the edge of the rim and not leak air. Oh, I'm getting so close to having this done. If I can just get this last little part. The tire is on the rim. And like I said, now we just have to blow it up. The key to getting the tire to seat on the rim is preparation. I'm going to have my air pump out already attached to the tire. So I'll have it turned on and ready to go. So all I have to do is hit the inflate button. The next thing I'll do is spray some starter fluid inside of the tire. I'm going to light that on fire and when I do the air is going to expand and hopefully seat the tire on the rim. Well it didn't work but here it is in slow motion one more time. The goal is to have all this energy inflate the tire. I'll try it again. This time I'll use a little less starter fluid and I'll put it in just one spot and see how that works. So we have success and then the air compressor turns off. I really need to get air in this tire because when that air cools it will shrink and it'll pull it right off the bead. It took a little over two minutes to get this tire filled up with 12 pounds per square inch of air pressure. So now all we have to do is put it on the lawnmower and put the key, clip, washer, and dust cover in place. I always struggle with these clips for some reason. I got lucky this go around. Most of the time I end up having to go find it because they end up springing off and going someplace behind me. Well, all we have to do is do a little cleanup and get this off of the jack and bam. It's ready to cut some grass. All right, well the job's done. It took about an hour. And other than cheating with the grinder and cutting the bead to get the tire off, I don't think I did too bad. I'll leave it parked in the driveway for a couple days and I will check it every day to make sure that the tire is not losing any air. To make sure we really got it fixed because Murphy's Law has a way of happening. And then uh, look forward to those other videos where I'm, <laughs> where I'm tricking out my other lawnmower, so to speak. Well, like, subscribe, check out those playlists, and I'll see you in another video.